A novel anomalous force has been affecting wildlife worldwide. While the specifics of the effects on these animals are borderline unpredictable, there are some recurring symptoms. The morphology of the animal twists and distorts into a nightmarish, seemingly random visage. The creature can lose or sprout additional limbs, sense organs, teeth, anything. Not only that, but it appears some pieces of their morphology can split open, revealing new structures like a giant maw. The process takes place slowly over time, and is evidently incredibly painful for the animal in question, as they shriek a constant dull moan that does nothing to drown out the horrific snapping and creaking of their bones like old hardwood floors as they reshape in nonsensical ways. So far, the phenomena has been documented affecting giraffes, birds, deer, bear, sheep, rhino, dog, and various sea animals. Not only does the morphology of the animal change, but the behavior as well. The condition changes every animal it affects into a reckless and aggressive carnivore. These photographs of the anomalous wildlife event were taken by investigator Leo Vincible, who decided that the anomalous containment foundation's rules and regulations work better as fireplace material than reading material. Giving the finger to the paranormal government is a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. While the cause of this plague upon the fauna of Earth is yet unknown, we can still theorize on what the possible cause might be. I initially believed that this might be the work of somebody supernaturally talented, representing humanity's sins against the natural world by using animals as a living canvas. Maybe as some sort of protest piece against environmental damage. I know what you're thinking. Doesn't this figuring animals as a symbolic statement for ecosystem destruction go against the very reason they'd been doing it? Yeah, but like, have you ever talked to a human? They're walking contradictions. Half of them tweet about how bad child labor is from their smartphones the second they get them hot off the child labor factory line. Sure, we could guess it's some sort of curse, or a metaphysical manipulation from a supernatural source, or perhaps some energy leaking in from another dimension, but there's little to no evidence for those ideas. Aside from just suspension of disbelief, so I guess it's back to the drawing board. While information about this phenomena on the internet is scarce to say the least, there is a popular theory floating around about what's making these animals into literal fucking monsters. The theory is that this is caused by a virus making rapid zoonetic shifts between species. This virus causes genetic sequence disturbances in the form of virus-induced gene mutations. These virus-induced mutations are not fully understood by human scientists, and are probably due to the insertions of fragments of viral DNA into the host chromosomes. Essentially, the virus corrupts the DNA of the animal, and for some reason that we don't fully understand yet, the animal's body begins to act as some sort of horrific physiology randomizer, morphing the poor creature's form to look like some sort of Cronenberg Mr. Potato Head for limbs and sense organs. Question is, if it is a virus, what happens when the virus makes the shift to mankind? While the virus theory is all well and good, if you're a fan of my show for some reason, first off get therapy, and second, you may have noticed a parallel between these dumb broken animals and some other dumb broken animals documented by a different investigator. Anomalous investigator Trevor Henderson has posted numerous examples of different creatures with their morphology severely affected by a parasitic worm. This worm wiggles its way inside of an animal and then hollows them out using them as a puppet to hunt other prey and reproduce. This parasite would make sense as the cause for this new unnatural habitat phenomena, as it severely affects both the morphology and the behavior of its host. Although its favorite target is bird, it's gone after larger animals like deer and even people. I believe that Leo's documentation of these unnatural animals may be further examples of different forms of this lamprey parasite. I know what you're saying. You don't make no gosh darn sense, eyeball man. That doesn't explain the growth and limbs and the entire body rearrangement of many of these types of animals. Well, you stupid fuck, that's where the virus theory comes back into play. If this lamprey were to carry pathogens of its own, it's possible that these pathogens could also make the same zoonetic shift just as rapidly, if not more rapidly than the worms. It looks as though the invasive species of lamprey hasn't been wearing its condoms, and if it tries to worm its way inside of humans again, that virus sounds like your problem too. See, we can both win. Both theories can be right, except they're not. They're both wrong because none of this was canon and I made it all up, except for the parts that I stole. <laughs> if you like this video for some reason and want me to come back and talk about more weird nonsensical critters, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled and watch all my other stuff or I'll shove a worm up your butt. I'd like to thank Biodegradable for editing this video. They're a great editor and you should go watch all of their things. Shout out the inner circle. Love y'all. Okay, bye.